Turning Point, everyone. New developments this morning surrounding the IRS firestorm, and it truly is becoming a firestorm. A report coming out this week shows IRS officials were targeting Tea Party and other conservative groups when those groups applied for tax-exempt status. The audit states that the IRS flagged groups with names like uh, Tea Party, Patriot, and the 912 Project. That's a group created by conservative pundit uh, Glenn Beck. CNN's Candy Crowley spoke to Republican Senator Susan Collins on Sunday. This is truly outrageous, and it contributes to the profound distrust that the American people have in government. It is absolutely chilling that the IRS was singling out conservative groups for extra review. And I think that it's very disappointing that the president hasn't personally condemned this and spoken out. The National Coordinator for Tea Party Patriots, Kelly Carinder, joins us um, this morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Is it good enough for you that the IRS has said, we're sorry? Absolutely not. This is, I think Senator Collins hit it right on the head. This is chilling. This is what happens in other countries when government agencies target and harass particular groups based on their ideology. That is deserving of so much more than just a mere apology. And we should say Lois Lerner, the director of exempt organizations uh, at the IRS, this is what she said on Friday. That was absolutely incorrect. She said it was insensitive and it was inappropriate. That's not how we go about selecting cases for further review. The IRS would like to apologize for that. What more would you like to see? Well, we need to know how did this start? Who started it? Who knew what? And when did they know it? How far up does this go? Does it go up all the way into Treasury? Does it go up into the administration? Who who was a part of this? How were these decisions made? Uh, and and what is going to happen to the people that did it? If there are no consequences for people who abuse their power like this, then it's not going to stop. And it's not going to stop with Tea Party Patriots. It'll be some other group that gets singled out and I don't think any of us want that. Do you think it went higher up than just these IRS uh, officials who worked in Cincinnati apparently these low level IRS officials in Cincinnati you have any evidence of that? Well we've already seen that there's some discrepancy haven't we because later n now we found out that uh, Chief Counsel met and Ms. Lerner met and they changed the criteria but they don't they only changed the criteria where these these applications were flagged from say Tea Party Patriots to things like groups that are educating on the Constitution and the Bill of Rights and that's pretty ironic considering what they were doing was unconstitutional that's right the timeline here is getting increasingly problematic you know um, the commissioner of the IRS who was we should say a Bush appointee actually gave testimony on this back in 2012 let's listen to what he said briefly First, let me start by saying, yes, I can give you assurances. Um, as you know, we pride ourselves on being a non-political, non-partisan organization. But there's absolutely no targeting. This is the kind of back and forth that happens when people apply for uh, 501c4 status. Do you have any evidence that you were targeted at all over the last several years? Well, I'm not going to really say a lot right now, except that our group, Tea Party Patriots, is discussing our options. We're looking at the timeline. We're looking at what did happen to us. And I think we'll probably have some news on that later on. All right, Kelly Carinder, National Coordinator for the Tea Party Patriots in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for joining us today.